Loved ones of a local elderly woman are wondering tonight if the COVID surge had anything to do with a quick deterioration of her health. Victor Williams spoke with her son and daughter who say their mother already survived COVID, but she has suddenly lost an extreme amount of weight while at a nursing home and is now fighting to live. Victor. Well, as you can imagine, it was hard for this man to watch his mother transition from a very healthy woman to someone who is now having to be on a ventilator in these last few weeks. That was a nightmare. It's nothing I was prepared for. Jonathan Dozier's mother, Wanda Turner, is a COVID-19 survivor who conquered the virus back in January. Since then, she's been at Boulevard Manor Nursing Home. When she beat it, I talked to her on Zoom and she had a good, lively conversation like she normally is. For some reason, Jonathan and other family members were not able to do their regular Zoom calls with Wanda. And the next time he saw his mother, she looked nothing like she did before. She was rushed to the hospital and she was in a state of skin and bones. It was just like my heart broke and I, I, I just had to let tears out. Wanda's health had rapidly gone downhill and she lost a bunch of weight and has been on a ventilator for the past few days. Sadly, she's now receiving hospice treatment as her children prepare for the worst. To come out with this outcome that we got to pull the plug. It hurts. It's not a good feeling to see your mother go from her normal self, lively, witty, and bubbly as she is, to now. It's not a good feeling at all. Jonathan and his sister, La Erica, are now asking a lot of questions, wondering if the COVID surge had anything to do with their mother's deteriorating conditions. In the meantime, they're doing all they can to learn more while warning others who may be in a similar situation. You never know the last time that you'll be able to see one of your loved ones that are in nursing homes because you don't know, you know, first class what's being done in the nursing home for one. Now we did reach out to some of the officials here at Boulevard Manor, but because of where they are with this situation, they cannot comment at this point in time, but we will keep you updated. Victor Williams, Local 4.